Good morning YouTube, Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, please go hit that subscribe button real quick. And let's get on with this video. As you can see, this is my Rockwood 1910 ESP pop-up camper. And we do have uh, videos of us camping in this and everything. But this video is gonna be a short, specific video about putting the J rods in, or the J poles, or the uh, shepherd's hooks, whatever y'all wanna call it. So let me flip this camera around and let's get with it. Now, as you notice, I have the pop-up fully raised and I've went ahead and slid the beds out on each end, but I do not have them slid all the way out. They would normally come past this pole and there's a little plastic curve thing that catches the end of the pole. So that's a good six inches or so that's not pulled out. And all I've done is pulled it out. I went ahead and attached the snaps because with it not having pressure on this material, it makes it easier to snap. I do have my uh, roof supports in. You can see I'm not fully set up. I just got done hosing it off. But people have problem putting the J-hooks in. And I did too. I mean, it was so tight I'd get in there with two hands gripping that hook. And I just could not get that J-hook in easily. Now I'm going to start with this end, the front end over here. I don't have the sink popped up yet because... With the bunk not slid all the way out, you can't raise it. And that's fine, because the only thing I'm wanting to do is have enough slack in this top that I can put that J-pole in. So I'm going to set this camera up on a tripod so y'all can watch me do this. I have seen people in comments say that, oh, I'm full of it, that this is not the way to do it, and it can't be done. It can, and I'll prove it to you. As you can see... The bunk is not pulled out all the way. It's about a hand width of uh, left. And I've already pulled the J pole out from underneath the bunk. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this end and go ahead and lift this rod here a little bit to where I can get it on the hook and then push that up. Get a little bit snug and then I can do this with one hand that's it it's that easy if you want to take it down go ahead and push your bunk in just a little bit it's that easy for both sides Now I'm going to leave y'all going. I'm going to walk around outside, pull it out the rest of the way. Alright, the, the bunk is fully extended now. I love these baby hammocks, extra storage. Now on our pop-up, when you close it down, I use memory foam on top of this mattress and it won't close down all the way if I leave it on there. So I have to put it over there. And then make the bed. But now that this is out, I can go ahead and pop my sink up. Get the curtain out of the way. And then, you know, I'll finish setting up. Normally, before I pull this bunk all the way out, after I put the J-pole in, I'll go ahead and set the door too. 
because without the bunks being fully extended, it, there's no pressure on the material. So when you put the door in, you can Velcro it up real nice and easy. Now normally this isn't a problem anyway, but while you're doing it, you just as well go ahead and set the door nice and easy, then pull both bunk ends out. You get a nice fit on your door and the j poles are so easy. Let me flip this around and catch the other side. All right, guys, I store the J-hook or the J-pole underneath the mattress here. Now, this one's pulled out a little bit further, but it's still not fully extended. I probably, I've got about, I don't know, three inches before it's fully pulled out. And I do the same thing. I'll take this end and go ahead and line it up on my bracket here. And I, I really like the way they did this end of this. Uh, in this rockwood ESP and then I'll just kind of get it stretched out there and I go up and because I pulled it out more it's a little bit harder but you saw I just did that with one hand this is the way to hook these poles on this particular model no doubt fully extended I really had to grip this and get leverage and just really force it to get that hole in. And now I'll go out there and I will finish pulling this bunk the rest of the way out. In fact, I'll probably just, I'll go check the pose in a minute. And uh, you know, that's it, easy peasy. The same way, taking them down. Go ahead out there, push your bunk in a few inches, then come back in here and just take these out really easy. So that's what this video is about. Just putting these shepherd's hook in one-handed, very easy. Just don't pull them bunks out all the way. I promise you it works. I just showed you that it does work. So if you have any doubt, give it a try. Now. I'm not sure about all models. This is uh, 2022 uh, Rockwood 1910 ESP. But I would imagine most any pop-up, since they're all basically the same, if you're having problems getting your J-hooks in, give this a try, because it works. And uh, like I said, it also makes it easier to put the door in. If you go ahead and set your door before pulling the bunks out, there's no, it's not stretching the canvas. So you can Velcro it up, just line your Velcro up where it's supposed to be, then go pull your bunk ends out and you're done. I hope this video helped y'all. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd appreciate it if you go hit that subscribe button real quick. Uh, there's a lot of information on our channel, not just about pop-ups, about camping, outdoor activities, sites we see, adventures we go on, but most of it is all centered around outdoor activities. And it is really getting hot here in Texas. I think we're going to get up to uh, 105 degrees today in the heat index. Yesterday, I think we got up to 115 degree heat index. And as you can see, I'm just pouring in sweat right now. But we're fixing to go on a camping trip really soon. And I always pop the pop-up up, up, make sure everything is in good shape. Uh, get everything packed the way I want it packed. And other than the the front bed I'll go ahead and make this bed that way when we get to camp I don't have to make it but since I can't keep the memory foam on this bunk up here I have to take it off and set it over here we make that bed when we get to camp but anything to make setting up camp easier is a plus for us and uh, let me grab you off this tripod So you see what we got here. Can't camp in Texas without that air conditioner out there, that's for sure. I'm gonna clean the filters and all that before we go. Let's see if I can get this max fan going. That max fan is one thing we have had problems with. If you turn it up high sometimes, I don't know if, what it's tripping, but it'll just shut off. And I gotta turn it back on. I try to make sure there's no lights on, 
But if I get up past two or three, see we're going. Let's turn it up another notch. Maybe I'll make a liar out of me. There's three. And it just shut off. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's something I'm going to have to figure out for me to take it to shop. Uh, it's going to be a two-hour drive, so I don't know. But if I go back down to one, it'll come back on. And normally I can go up to two, but it's something I really need to get fixed. If y'all have any ideas what's going on, let me know. Also, I can only have two lights on. I guess it's tied into the same circuit as the lights. If I turn on three lights, it flips the breaker. So yeah, that's not too, this should have been on a separate breaker all by itself. And I don't know if the motor, something's going on in the motor, a relay or, or what, but it's not actually flipping breakers. It's just shutting off in the fan itself. So if y'all have any idea what's going on there, I appreciate the uh, comment. Thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and make sure the poles are set right on this end and uh, put the door in. But we're getting everything ready for our next trip. Now, I put these motion lights, I got them at five below for like five bucks a piece. And they've been working really good, but it's been so hot that the glue they used to put the solar panel on melts and these slid down. So I went and got some E6000 pushed them all back up in the heat and re-glued them and it don't look real good but so far it's been like i said 106 107 degrees and uh in the direct sun and they have not come back loose and you know these are great because anything walks by your camper at night from quite a distance they will come on and light things up and if you're out doing some something uh, and you just wave your hand at them and they'll come on or you can turn them on to where they'll stay on So pretty handy and I've got them all the way around The camper I don't think I have any on the back But I do have two on this one on each corner basically And that tape is just to keep wasp and stuff out of there while it's setting there's another one there, and then there's one up front. They work really good. Once I got that solar uh, panel glued on, they work really good. Now this box here I put on there, it has a USB ports uh, to power things, but I have my undercarriage lights hooked into the switch that's in that box, so it keeps it waterproof. And, it, you know, it's just my underground or undercarriage lights that I have. But anyway, I'm going to end this video. I'm starting to carry on. Just a few things about the camper that we've done and issues that we have. And I hope showing you how to do those J-Poles help you out. Because it, it definitely works. I remember the very first time I was putting one in this front bunk. I actually had my wife get up in there with me and push on my back because I just wasn't stout enough to get that sucker all the way in. And I started just looking at it, trying to figure out how I can make it easier. And I came up with this solution and it works. So y'all have a great uh, week. I hope y'all have plans coming for the weekend. And hopefully before long it's getting cool enough here that we can start enjoying camping more. But we do have a camping trip coming up. I already have everything booked. We're going to be going to uh, Lake Bistanu in Louisiana. So, looking forward to that. We will see y'all at another time.